So, hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to do some numericals regarding electric potential. So come, let's find out how to do electric potential numericals. So before I'm going to to start this, I want to tell you that these numericals are really very important for your CBSC, ISC, that's your boards, as well as to build your concept and also for J and NEET. So stay with me and please follow my class. If you have any problem, just feel free to come and meet me. Okay. So come, let's start. Okay, so let us see what is our first question is. So let us find out. It says, it says, to what potential we must charge an insulated sphere of radius 4 cm so that the surface charge density is equal to 1 micro coulomb per meter. Okay, let us find out how to do this. It says to what potential we must charge an insulated sphere of radius. So, let us do equation number 1. So, here a sphere, here it is talking about a sphere. So, radius of the sphere is given as 14 cm, right? Now, what are you getting? Are you getting any hint from this question? It is talking about surface charge density. It is talking about surface charge density that is equals to 1 micro coulomb per meter inverse. So, uh, I think it will be 1 micro coulomb per meter square, it will be. So, whatever. So, this is 1 micro coulomb per meter square, surface charge density. To what potential such that it has a surface charge density? So, surface charge density means total charge, total charge by total area. Total charge by total area. This is what surface charge density is. Surface total area. Okay. So, total charge I don't know. Total area I can find out. And I also know this uh, surface charge density. So from here, if I get to find out the area of the total sphere, then it will be easy for me to find out the total charge. So let us do it. Do it. So total area is going to be, let us consider total charge with Q. So total area is going to be 4 pi r square. r square is the radius, okay? And this is 1 micro coulomb. So that means Q can I, in place of Q I can write, 4 pi r square into 1 into 1 micro coulomb. So this is clear. So this is clear, right? So that means total charge, total charge in this sphere is this much. So we have got the total charge. Now in the question it is asking to what potential we must charge an insulated sphere. So that means, uh, so we have to find out what potential, what we, what is the potential for this one, for this uh, insulated sphere. So as it has got some amount of charge over here, so what will be the potential? So we know the formula very well. The potential will be 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught, total charge in the sphere, divided by the distance from the center. Distance from the center at the surface, right? So this is going to be R. So total 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught. So Q is 4 pi R square into 1 micro coulomb. That means 1. Uh, okay, I'm just breaking this micro. That is 10 to the power minus 6 micro coulomb part. Micro part and coulomb is already there. So this R is over here. So ultimately we are getting this uh, 4 pi R cancels out. So we are getting r into 10 to the power minus 6 divided by epsilon. So if we calcul calculate this, just because I don't have any space over here, I am writing here over here. So if I calculate, so we are going to get r is 14 centimeter. So let us convert it into meter. 14 centimeter into meter 10 to the power minus 2 into 1 into 10 to the power minus 6. 1 into 10 to the power minus 6. Right. Divided by epsilon. Epsilon value is 8.85 into 10 to the power minus. So just calculate this. Let me calculate this part. So after let us see what is. So here it is. I am going to get 15820 volt. Okay. 
you can see over here yes you can see right so i have just rounded off that part so it is 15820 volt this is what the required potential is so i think you have got this clear into your head so how to do this numerical the basic form the basic way to start doing numericals is just write down the given data that are provided in the question that is very important when you get the data then only you can understand what to do next so that that there comes the concept but first you have to understand what the data given from there you have to figure out now how you have to do the numericals okay so come let us proceed into our next question the next question says two charges 3 into 10 to the power minus 8 coulomb and minus 2 into 10 to the power minus 8 coulomb are located at 15 cm apart at what point on the line joining the two charges is the electrostatic potential zero okay so again the same thing you have to correct recollect what i have told just understand what are the data given it says about two charges okay so first let me consider two charges q1 it is saying that it has magnitude 3 into 10 to the power minus 8 coulomb very good and another charge that is minus 2 into 10 to the power minus 8 coulomb okay they are separated by some distance is it say how much distance 15 cm very good so they are separated by 15 cm and q2 is Minus two into minus two into ten to the power minus eight uh, coulomb. Right. Right. At what point on the line joining the two charges is the electrostatic potential zero? Okay. This part is also very important. Here you have Q one, Q Q one is positive charge and Q two is negative charge. They are separated by fifteen centimeter apart. Now the question is. At what point in the line joining the two charges? So, which line joining the two charges? This is the line joining the two charges. Electric potential will be zero. So, if you have any problem with electric potential, just please go into and check this video out. I have given the link over there, and you are going to get everything, every knowledge, and every details of electrostatic potential over there. So, come now. Let us understand this part over here. So, what is this? This part we have to find out a point where the electric potential will be zero. Now potential due to this charge will be negative, as you all know, because here this negative charge itself does what to bring a unit positive charge from infinity to this point, and here electric potential due to this positive charge will be positive. Why? Because an external agent is required to do the work to bring a unit positive charge from infinity to a point. This this concept is clear to you. Okay, right? Okay. Now. let us consider two things potential due to this charge and this charge can together be zero this can be this point also at any point between them and also any point here also it can be okay it can be it can be here also here also now i am going to check that i am going to check that so first let me understand this part i am considering a distance i am considering a point that is p where the electric potential due to this q1 as well as q2 is zero so if from here from q1 if it is x then this part will be 15 minus x right so this part will be 15 minus x so at point p so at point p what are you going to do you are going to find out potential due to q1 so v1 let us Consider V1 is the potential due to Q1, so we are going to find out 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught Q1 by R that is x. This is V1, and here V2 will be potential electric potential due to Q2 that is 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught Q2 by 15 minus x. now as the question says v1 and v2 as the question says v1 and v2 total together the total potential due to these two charges should be equal to zero so uh, let us do it do it then according to question i have to find out i don't know i have just assumed the point p from at where 
as the question says, the total potential will be zero. So from this assumption, I am going to check whether my assumption is correct or not. If my assumption is correct, then I am going to have done the numericals correctly. If I am wrong, then I have to see any other way. Okay. So let us do it. So total potential is zero. That means V1 plus V2 is equals to zero. This is my condition. So if this becomes my condition, if this becomes my condition, so how can I write over here? So just because I don't have space in my little board, so let me just write it over here like this. That means after this step, after this step, this is my step, okay, as I have no space over here. So I am just writing here in this way. That is, this is V1, this is V2, I am adding this is gonna be come out zero. This is what I have to find out because according to the question as it follows. Now, what is the value of Q1 and Q2? So Q1 here is 3 into 10 to the power 1 minus 8 and Q2 here is minus 2 into 10 to the power minus 8. So ultimately I can, I can omit this 10 to the power minus 8 and 10 to the power minus 8. This is not omitting actually, this means that I can take common from both side and if I bring this in this side or if I multiply, uh, if I divide 10 to the power minus 8 on both side, this is going to be cancelled. So just let us do the same way. We can take common C 1, 4, 1 by 4 pi epsilon. We can take common this. We can take common 10 to the power minus 8. Right? We can take these things common and we can send all those things to that side okay if we do that then let us see what are we left with we are left with 3 by x minus 2 by 15 minus x equal to 0 so we are left with this so if we are left with this then after this step just follow here then what can we write here we can write 3 into 15 minus x into 2x so ultimately we get 3 into 15 minus 3x is equals to 2x so ultimately we get 3 into 15 is equals to 5x so from here we get x to be 9 centimeter so from here we get x to be 9 centimeter so i hope this part is clear so x to be 9 centimeters is the condition which gives me to come which let which helps me to conclude which helps me to conclude that at point p that is 9 centimeter from q1 the electric potential will be zero so this part is clear now another thing i have to consider if i consider a point suppose here if i consider a point suppose here then for that from q1 it will be x and for Q2 it will be 15 and for Q2 it will be 15 plus X uh, no that will be X minus 15 X minus 15 for this part ok let us do it how it is going to find out let us see the similar way now the second case you have to find this way because it has not told it is not mentioned in the question that the, find the electric potential where the potential is zero between the two charges as does not say you have to find the another you have also you need to also find out the another criteria also or the another uh, case also so let us do it like that if i consider a point p over here at this point i'm going to find so this is x from q1 and from q2 it will be from q2 it will be x minus 50 x minus 50 right so again the same thing the total potential need to be zero that is v1 plus v2 should be equal to zero the net electric potential can be zero at this part also they have to find out so v1 plus v2 equal to be zero so from now if you find out here it is gonna come out so v1 i can write as again 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught Q1 I am writing directly 3 into 10 to the power minus 8 by this distance is x plus 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into 3 into no minus 2 into 10 to the power minus 8 by 
this distance x minus 15 is equal to 0 right so again i'm taking common this these things i'm taking common so this gets cancelled out over there so ultimately i am left with i'm just rubbing here so ultimately i am left with this i am left with this right so now the next step will be 3 by x is equals to 2 by x minus 15. So then I can say 3x minus 45 that is 3 into 15 is equals to 2x. So ultimately we get x to be after from here I am just writing over here we get 3x to be as x to be as 45 centimeter. So that means x to be as 45 centimeter from here and, and this distance is going to be 45 minus 50 that is 37. So here is also another point. Now if you ask me, this can be here also. You can ask me, see from here it is x and for this it will be 15 plus x. Just do it now. If you get, then tell me. Okay. If you get, tell me. That's your homework. If you get any uh, distance like that, you have to tell me. Okay. So anyhow, this is how you are going to do the numericals. This is another time. Okay. I hope you have understood. If you have any problem regarding any numericals or anything about physics, please write it in the comment section. You can also text me on Instagram. I am definitely going to reply you. Okay. So this is it. How you have to need to do the numericals. So our next question is right in your screen. So find out. It says a short dipole has a dipole moment of 4 into 10 to the power minus 9 coulomb meter. Determine the electric potential due to dipole at a point distance 0.3 m that is 0.3 meter from the center of the dipole situated on the axial line, on the equatorial line and on the line making an angle 60 degree with the line. So I have already told you this formula for how to do this numerical because this is a very easy numerical. I have already given you how to do the this kind of numericals I have already mentioned. I have already explained you how to do these things. So formula for this is going to be V is equals to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught P R cos theta by R cube. So ultimately this comes out to be P cos theta by R square. So this is going to be 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught P cos theta by R square. So just write down this R is given P is given cos theta theta you are going to get from actual point and equatorial point just put it there and you are going to do the sum just put it there now this is a dipole this is minus q this is plus q they are separated by a small distance that is we consider as 2d whatever it is now if you are given a point over here that is the distance from the dipole is taken from the midpoint of the dipole as r now the direction that is the direction from the midpoint of dipole see the dipole is directly in this direction and the displacement is just trying to say this is also from this midpoint this is also from this midpoint of the dipole right from here just right from here it is in this direction so angle is for this case is 0 degree clear just put it in the formula that i have just written over in the here in the board and you are going to the, get the answer next if it is asked a point over here that is equatorial point that means from the midpoint of the dipole now the dipole is directed this side and the displacement is in, in this direction so angle is 90 degree so for second case angle will be 90 degree right again for this thing just put it in the formula and you are going to get now the last it says uh, uh, the direction such that it makes angle 60 with the dipole so this is your R, this is the point, it makes an angle 60 with the line. So the third case, you, the angle becomes 60 degree. So just note it down these points and we are going to do this numerical very easily. This is a very easy numerical. Just do it. So the next question we have is right in your screen. Please check it out. It says, 
the electric field at a point due to point charge is 20 newton per coulomb and the electric potential at that point is 10 joule per coulomb calculate the distance from the charge and also the magnitude of the charge so calculate the distance from the charge and also the magnitude of the charge so to solve this numerical you have to try to find out see there is must be some kind of relationship between electric field and uh, electric potential okay so to do this numerical i have already taught you i have already told you a formula regarding this that is going to be e is equals to minus dv by dl so what this negative sign is signifying the negative sign is signifying that there e will always be a negative potential gradient negative potential gradient means electric field exists in that direction where there is a negative potential gradient so ultimately uh, this negative sign is for only giving you a direction so to do this numerical i can neglect this negative sign because i have nothing to do with the direction now because i've already understood what direction is trying to say uh, what it's trying to say so let us do it so here if i just neglect this i am going to get e dot dr is equals to minus sorry i am going to neglect this we are going to get db so if i just integrate 0 to r 0 to v so i am going to get e dot r is equals to v right so this is what i am going to get getting the relationship so now electric field it says electric field is 20 newton per coulomb this r it is saying i don't know the distance i have to calculate okay and this electric potential is 10 joule per coulomb so all these are in uh, all these are in uh, si unit so ultimately r comes out to be half that is 0 0.5 meter that is 0 0.5 meter so you have got to know this there is a distance now calculate the distance from the charge and also the magnitude of the charge so now you have got the distance now you have to calculate the magnitude of the charge so how can you going to calculate the magnitude of the charge this is very easy how to do this if you already know the potential due to the charge at that point or the electric field at that point whatever this is very easy this, this is very very easy formula of electric sorry formula of electric field is 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q by r square v is 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q by r so here if you put any of them if you put the value of v and r or you can put the value of e and r square you can going to get the value of q so let us do this because there is no square term so v is given here 10 joule per coulomb is equals to 1 by 4 pi will be 9 into 10 to the power 9 and this is q and r we have just got that is 0 0.5 so ultimately we get 5 divided by 9 into 10 to the power 9 is equals to q so the answer will be It will be 5.55 into 10 to the power minus 10. So I can say Q can be written as 5.56 into 10 to the power minus 10 coulomb. Okay. So this is how you can write. This is how you can write. This is the magnitude of charge you have just, just got it okay so this is it this is how you are going to do the numerical i think this was pretty easy right so come let us find out our next numericals so come on let us find out our next question so our next question says two point charges a and b are located in a diametrically opposite di opposite opposite direction of a point charge plus 2 microcoulomb at a distance 2 meter and 1 meter respectively from determine the potential difference Va minus V. Okay. So it says two point charges. So a point charge is plus 2 microcoulomb. Very good.
from here two point that is a point a this is point a and another point is b right diametrically opposite direction of point charges plus 2 microcoulomb the distance 2 meter and 1 meter respectively so this is 2 meter and this is 1 meter i know it is looking a bit odd this is 2 meter this is 1 meter okay let me cut it short now it is okay right so i have to find out potential at point a minus potential at point b this i think is very easy i think because v a is 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q is this one 2 into 20 to the power minus 6 coulomb divided by the distance is 2 meter and v b will be 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught this will be uh, 2, uh, 2 into 10 to the power minus 6 divided by 1 meter so ultimately these are the potentials at point a and point b so you have to just find out the potential difference between V and minus V. So just do it. So V A minus V B. What are you going to get? If you do this, you are going to get if I take common, I am going to get 10 to the power minus 6 by uh, 4 pi epsilon naught. Uh, this will be coming out 2 2 cancels. So this will be coming out 1 minus this will be coming out to be 2 so potential at so like V A minus B B it seems ok so here it come out to be 9 into 10 to the power 9 into 10 to the power minus 6 into 1 the minus sign comes over here so if you just calculate you are going to get minus 9 into 10 to the power 3 right 9 into 10 to the 3 volt so this is what you are going to get as the answer okay this was pretty easy right so now so now let us see our next question so before we proceed to our next question i would like you to, to please subscribe my channel if you like my content and if you please if you like this con this video then please don't forget to give a thumbs up and share it with your friends okay so come let us proceed to our next question so it says ABCD is the side of a square of 0 0.2 meter. Charges are 2 into the power minus 9, 4, 8, uh, 4 and 8 are placed at the corners A, B and C respectively. Calculate the work required to transfer a charge 2 into 10 to the power minus 9 coulomb from D to center of the square. From D to center of the square. Okay. So to do this you have to understand this in a different see this is a square this is a b c d okay now uh, all of these are 0 0.2 meter apart that's all right 0 0.2 meter apart now, given the charges are A, charge of A is 2 into 10 to the power minus 9. So, I will going to write here 2 into 10 to the power minus 9 coulomb. Here B, I am going to write 4 into 10 to the power minus 9 coulomb. And C, I am going to write 8 into 10 to the power minus 9 coulomb. And D, it says 2 into 10 to the power minus 9 coulomb. Now it says calculate the work required to transfer this charge from D to center O. Okay, from D to center O. So what you have to do for this numerical? So to do this numerical, you have to first understand what is the potential energy of this system and what is the potential energy when this charge has been transferred at this point. So when you get the potential energy, that, that was the, this was the initial potential energy and this is the final potential energy. What you need to do? Final potential minus initial potential and you are going to get the answer. So the, that is the amount of work I need to do. So if you transfer D from here to here, there will be increase in potential energy or decrease in potential energy. 
First, we have to understand this in your head. There can be increase in potential energy, also, there can be decrease in potential energy. See, if the potential energy decreases, then work has to be done by some external agent. And if the potential energy decreases, then no external agent need to do any work. The system will automatically try to do the work in that way only. Okay. So, as it is said, how much amount of work has to be done? So, I think here the potential energy will increase when you move from D to that this point. So, first, how to calculate potential energy? To calculate potential energy, you know the formula. Potential energy formula is 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q1 q2 by r this is the formula of potential energy this is the formula of potential energy okay now how you are going to do see to calculate potential energy we have to initial potential energy so initial potential energy is potential energy due to a b a b sorry a d a d plus b d plus c d potential energy due to these charges you have to calculate everything plus you have to just go through the combination okay now potential due to a b a b potential energy between due to these two charges plus B C plus A C okay A B B C plus A C okay I am going to write it over here plus A C any other combination C D D C is done D B B D is done A D N okay now A B is done B C is done now A C B B okay so these are the combination right so combination of these things you have to find out and again combination of these also you have to find out how here also when this final potential will be at this point at this point now d comes over here d comes over here again you have to do the same thing a d plus b d plus c d plus a b plus b c plus a c now what are these these are the interactions these are the interactions, right? So AB means AD means potential energy due to A and B, which was like this previously. So this is the way you need to do this numerical. So this is how you have to do initial potential energy, final potential energy. So this is a too big and lengthy numericals for me to do over here in the board. So this is how you are going to do. Just try to do it on your own. If you have any problem, just let me know in the comment section, or you can also text me in Instagram. Or I will definitely reply. Okay, so this is how we are going to do the initial potential energy and final potential energy. After you get get these two, then you subtract. Then you subtract. That is, then you find the difference in potential energy. Then then only you are going to get the work done. Okay, so I hope you are going to do this numerical and write the answer over there in the comment section below. So let us go to our next numerical. So uh, here you see the numerical given in your screen. It says three points A, B, and C lies in a uniform electric field E of five into ten to the power three newton per coulomb. Okay, as shown in the figure, find the potential difference between A and C. Okay. Find the potential between A and C. So that is A, B, C. Now the electric field is in this direction. This numerical is a bit interesting. This is point A. This is point B. And this is point C. This is 5 meter. 5 meter or centimeter? Uh, it is centimeter. This is 5 centimeter, this is 4 centimeter, 4 centimeter, a 3, uh, it says 3, this is 3 centimeter. So from applying Pythagoras theorem, you are, uh, this is quite sure this is a 90 degree, so this comes out to be 4 centimeter. Now it says what will be the potential difference between point A and point C. 
see this is important whatever the potential is at point c will have the same potential at point b why because see if you move in this direction this direction is perpendicular to the direction of electric field so your electric field is in this direction and you are moving in this direction so if you move in this direction that is perpendicular that is perpendicular to direction of the electric field there will be no change in potential the potential will be remain same so this is point c it has some potential whatever the potential it, at point c it will have the same potential at point b clear so ultimately we are going to find out potential difference between point a and point b that comes out to be the same as potential difference between point a and point c so this is what the trick to do this numerical so let us just do this how to do this numerical so to do this you have to do potential at point a now the displacement displacement dip between acha let me write down which formula we are going to use electric field and potential difference so the difference between uh, there is a relationship between electric field and potential difference that is e is equals to minus dv by dl this minus sign as you all know this tries to represents the direction of electric field so we already know the direction of electric field that is the potential decreases in the direction in which electric field is directed we know this so ultimately i am just trying to uh, get this work done with magnitude so we have to do dv we have to find out dv e dot dr so changing potential will be changing potential will be if this is del v then this comes out to be e dot del r right this comes out to be change in del r this is dv this change in potential this is del dr is change in displacement so a if the distance between a and b is 4 cm so change in potential is e is given 5 into 10 to the power 3 newton coulomb and del r will be 4 cm that means 5 into 10 to the power 3 into 4 into 10 to the power minus 2 we have to calculate in si unit this comes out to be 2 into 10 to the power 1 so this comes out to be 200 volt so this is the change in potential between potential between point a and point b similarly this will be the change in potential between point a and point c because point a point c and point b are of same potential okay if you move down from b to c there will be no change in potential whatever the potential electric potential at point b same potential will be at point c same potential throughout this line throughout this line from here you also get the concept of equipotential surface if you don't know what is equipotential surface please click this link above and you will get the concept of electric potential surface okay so come let us do our next one so before we proceed to our next question i would like you to please subscribe to my channel if you like the content of this video please support through another thumbs up there and don't forget to share it with your friends so that's the way you can support this channel and stay tuned for more this kind of contents so come let us uh, try out our next numerical so the question is given on your screen so it says if the potential in the region of the space around the point the region of the space around the point that is minus 1 meter 2 meter 3 meter is given by v is equals to 10x square plus 5y square minus 3z square volt calculate the three components of electric field at this point this is a very important numerical and this is very important for joint and neat entrance also this concept is very important see this is given over here v is equals to 10x square plus 5y square minus 3z square right so ultimately you know a formula right electric field is equals to minus dv by dr now dv by dr that means how it how the electric field is in that direction where there is a negative potential gradient now as here v is as here v is written as state x square y square z square so we are going to find out electric field in x direction electric field in y direction electric field in z direction so how 
So we are going to find out ex is equal to minus del v by del x. Why del v by del x I'm writing over here like this? Because I am going to differentiate this v with the help of x. Though v is also dependent on y and x, I am only going to differentiate it using x considering y and z to be as constant. This is a bit uh, higher level uh, concept but just try to understand how I am going to do for x that is for electric for to find out the electric field at x direction I am going to differentiate with x to find the electric field in y direction I am going to differentiate with y and to find out the electric field in z direction I am going to differentiate this with z. Right. So how to do this one? So just differentiate. So I am going to get E as minus uh, this I am going to get 20x and all these are going to be 0 constant because you cannot differentiate them. Now this is going to get minus 10y and this I am going to get minus no this I am going to get plus 6z. That means how I am going to do? See I am differentiating this part only because only this part is going to be differentiated. That is 2 comes over here. So 2 into 10 to 20x. You know the formula of differentiation, right? If you don't know, stay tuned. I'll also make a specific video of differentiation integration for you all. So this is ey. This comes out to be minus 10y because minus sign is also already over here. Now if you differentiate this v with respect to y, this 2 is going to come over here. So ultimately we're going to get minus 10y. Similarly, you are going to get this ez when you're going to differentiate this part. So I hope this is clear to everyone. So this is how we are going to get, this is how the concept is going on to do this thing, kind of thing. Okay. So after you have got this, after you have got this, you have, this is how the potential varies, and, uh, sorry, electric field varies in x direction, y direction and z direction. This is how the electric field varies. So uh, you have to find out the electric field at the given point as just mentioned in the question. So it says find the electric field at point minus 1 meter, 2 meter, 3 meter. So at x equals to when if you put at, the, at that point, if you put x equals to, if x equals to minus 1, if you put x equals to minus 1, ex comes out to be 20, ui comes out to be 20, minus 20, and ez comes out to be 80. So all these things are going to come out to be like this. So now you can apply the, uh, this is how you are going to do. And so you get this SI units also. This comes out to be Newton per Coulomb. Newton per Coulomb. You can also write as voltmeter also. So that that is also acceptable. So this is how you are going to do the numerical. Okay. So first you have to find differentiate and find out how the electric field varies. Then you put the point. Then you put the values of x, y, and z. Because x, y, and z, how can I write over here? Because it is already told over here, right? Because it is already told over here at these points mentioned in the questions. Got it? Okay. So we are going to do the our next step. So this is going to be our last numerical. So last but not the least. So let us find out what it says. The question is given in your question. In your screen, just check it out. It says two electrons each moving with velocity of 10 to the power 6 meter per second are released towards each other. What will be the closest distance of approach between them? This is also a very good question. Very good question. See, suppose, let me explain you it like this. This is an electron, this is also an electron. Now these two electrons are coming with a velocity, with high velocity, right? They are coming from a very large distance and they are coming with a very large force, uh, with a high velocity. Just understand these two electrons, they repel each other, right? So if they repel each other, what do you think? Are they going to come and collide? No. 
are they trying to get collided no they don't they repel each other so initially whatever their energy was and when they are coming really close to each other that means they are coming to a point that after that point they don't want to come more like this they want to again get separate like this so you have to find out up to this the story you are you are concerned with is up to this they are coming with a high velocity and they come up to a distance of closest approach then they move apart how it is happening just think this is a north pole this is also a north pole of a magnet and you have, you have thrown both these north poles in a straight in a in a same line they are going to come and they will come to us or position of very closest approach after that they are going to separate right so you are going to find out that so to do that you have to use the concept is like that initially their energy was initial energy of the system was kinetic energy of this electron kinetic energy of this electron so this kinetic energy comes out and when they comes to a distance of closest approach what is it at this point the kinetic energy becomes zero so when they are released from very large distance that when they are released from very large distance at this point when they comes a distance of closest approach the their kinetic energy becomes zero they doesn't move closest approach after that they are going to move apart so when they have already reached the point of closest approach kinetic energy becomes zero which energy comes which energy predominates potential energy so here is the potential energy so ultimately by the conservation of energy we know that energy can neither be created nor it can be destroyed but it can be transferred from one form to another right yes you know that so when this kinetic energy of the initial electrons they are having kinetic energies and when they come to a point of closest approach after that they don't move further close to each other at that point the kinetic energy becomes zero and the potential energy becomes very high so ultimately we have to come we have to use the conservation of energy and carry out this thing so find out how i do it this thing so initially it says two electrons each moving with a velocity of 10 uh, per 6 meter per second and release towards each other so initially kinetic energy of both the electrons are same initially initially there was kinetic energy because they have been released from very large distance so kinetic energy is half mv square plus half mv square these are the kinetic energy of the both the electrons right now finally when they come to a distance of closest approach finally potential energy becomes 1 by 4 pi epsilon not e dot e by r square sorry e dot e by r so this is what you need to find out so we have to find out this e right so if you if you just by the from the uh, if you just understand the conservation of energy so by the conservation of energy we can say initial energy will be equal to final energy initial energy of the system is equal to final energy of the system initially there was no potential energy entirely it was kinetic and finally there is only potential no kinetic energy so if we compare the sorry if we equate this we are going to get mv square is equals to because half plus half it is going to be 1 by 4 pi epsilon e square by so ultimately r you are going to get the 1 by 4 pi epsilon not dot e square by m v square so if you calculate this you are going to get 9 to 10 to the power 9 this is e square is 1 pi 6 into 10 to the power minus 19 that square divided by mass is mass of electron is 9.1 into the power minus 31 kg and v is already given it says 10 to the power 6 meter per second so this is 10 to the power 6 meter per second square right so if you calculate this what you are going to get you are going to get 9 it's me 9 let must let's see let me calculate and just feel free to comment below there and also you can give a text me in instagram if you have any more problem rather than this i'm definitely going to reply you and thank you for today and if you like this video please don't forget to press this like button 
and don't forget to press the red button that is the subscribe button okay so stay tuned for more videos thank you